I just wanted to tell you a little bit <clears throat> about uh, the trajectory that we're on and uh, what our, our, our priorities are, and I think some of those will be of interest to you. So number one priority for us is to improve, continue to improve student success. This is an area the university's been working on for a long time, and, and we've, we've made good pro progress on graduation rates uh, and helping students not just think about what they're doing while they're at the university, but what comes beyond that, but we have to do even better. So our four-year graduation rates can be raised, and, and in particular, we, ha we have a graduation gaps between different demographic groups. So if you think about the students who are really the next generation Californians, the next generation students who will be all of your employees or, or colleagues or startup partners, those students, uh, about 60% of them at UC Santa Cruz identify in one or more of the following groups. First generation in their family to attend university, low income, and a member of an underrepresented group traditionally in higher education. For us, that's predominantly Latinx uh, students, but also uh, African-American, ABC students, we call them. And, and uh, also uh, some folks who are uh, Asian-American, Native Americans, or Pacific Islanders. So we have two uh, statuses that are conferred on us by the Department of Education. One of those I think you've probably heard about before. That's an HSI, a Hispanic Serving Institution. We also have status that's called Anapesi. Anybody heard of that before? So an Anapesi institution, similar to HSI, has at least 25% of their students, but who come from either Asian American, Native American, or Pacific Islander backgrounds. So for us to be both uh, those tells you about the diversity of our student body. That diversity is really important, both as the way, in the way that we provide access to higher education for the people of California, but also because we know diversity is, is a value that makes good economic sense, right? Diverse teams perform better. Uh, and if you learn how to work with a large, diverse group of people from different backgrounds, different walks of life, uh, different um, different uh, perspectives that enables you to be more effective in the workforce. So we're working hard to, to uh, improve the student experience at UC Santa Cruz and uh, an important component of that is experiential learning. So <clears throat> traditionally I'm a chemist, I've done experiential learning for a long time with my students. Do some of that in class using active learning methods and having students work on problem-based learning, working in teams to solve problems. Did it in my laboratory, having students uh, come in as early as their freshman year to work in my lab. But <clears throat> many students are really interested in, in two things <clears throat> where I think you all could help us. One of those is in uh, working in a company. So internships for students are a great way to have them experience uh, the, the world of work, to explore new opportunities, but most importantly, to use the knowledge they're getting at the university and in other sources to, in, in a practical way. That experiential learning, putting what you know to work, is, is really vital to, to the development uh, of, of people in our region and to the development of companies. Uh, for our students, who so many of them are low income, it's hard for them to have an unpaid internship. So the ability to offer uh, even minimum wage for internships is really critical to re have that be applicable to, to, to students at UC Santa Cruz uh, fully. The, the other way that you can help us is that we want to provide for our students experience as entrepreneurs and innovators. And so we're in the formative stages of, of something I want to call the Innovation Hub, which is really kind of a hub and spoke model to connect some resources and some structure to the about 40 different programs we have on campus right now, all doing something around those areas of innovation and entrepreneurship. We think <clears throat> there's opportunity to bring uh, folks in both as mentors, entrepreneurs and residents, uh, and also to help us teach some classes, whether or not uh, those might be for a certificate program, a minor, uh, um, that's stuff that we're all still working out. We've only been uh, working on this for a couple months. But, but I think there's great opportunities there for us to leverage 
uh, the kind of, 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 of people and, and talent that we have here in Santa Cruz. The other priority of ours is to amplify our research impact. So you've heard about our Genomics Institute that's doing such amazing things. Sequence, the first copy of the human genome, now is helping to uh, pull together data to, uh, through the Treehouse Cancer Project around pediatric cancers. Uh, it's doing the pan genome sequencing to get all different types of humans genome, because right now all the Genomics Institute, all the genomics information is based on one human a white guy from Buffalo, New York. So um, nothing against that, right? But, but uh, that, that limits the ability of, say, African-American women to have their breast cancer biopsy done in a way that will reveal to them the best course of treatment. So that's a really important thing that we're leading. The other thing that our Genomics Institute has done is to develop a new way of sequencing DNA using nanopore technology which takes instruments that you know are about like this and uh, shrinks them down into something about the size of my phone and not only makes it smaller and less expensive, but greatly ramps up the time with which a, a sequence can be determined and the fidelity with which it can be determined because it can sequence long reads of DNA. That resolves a lot of the complications of trying to put the DNA story back together. So that technology uh, is um, uh, been licensed to, to a company in England, but it's just one example of the many different kinds of technologies that are emerging from UC Santa Cruz uh, through partnerships with Santa Cruz Works, through the Startup Sandbox, uh, other accelerators. We have the, uh, 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 the opportunity, I think, to amplify that to, to, uh, through the through the development of entrepreneurs at UC Santa Cruz and capture a lot of that intellectual property that our brilliant researchers are developing and thinking about how to turn that into clean, green uh, tech companies that we can have right here in our region to provide employment opportunities that, that'll be very important for our future. So I'm really excited about that and uh, it's so great to see you all here today and um, I hope that you will reach out to me. Uh, if you can email me at chancellor at ucsc.edu and uh, I'm glad to hear from you uh, here today or by email uh, about ideas that you have about how we can ramp up this innovation and entrepreneurship effort at our campus. Thank you. All right.